And Project Veritas is at it again. This time, an assistant principal says he won't hire teachers who don't align with far left or progressive values. NTD's Jason Perry has that story. Project Veritas continues to do undercover work, and this time it's to expose efforts to indoctrinate children with socialist ideology. There's like a read aloud yeah. about um, an animal or about a boy that said he wanted to be a mermaid, and it's like a way to start like an aggressive was like, you should be whoever you feel like you should be, and that was kind of like the message of the read aloud. Yeah. The man speaking is Todd Soper, and he is the assistant principal for grades K through 4 at the New York City Department of Education's Neighborhood Charter School in Harlem. An undercover Project Veritas reporter asked him this. What would you do, though, as a principal if you knew there was a conservative applying? Would you hire such a no. person? Soper then explained that he can learn more about the applicant's beliefs if they say diversity is this. You know, like everyone is equal, like those things that are well-intentioned statements, but they're missing the depth of understanding yeah. of how like, the intersections of our identity um, live out in the world. It's like that person. Yeah. yeah. I spoke with Paul Rossi, who was a teacher at Grace Church School in New York City. He blew the whistle on the school's curriculum, which implemented elements of critical race theory. And unfortunately, these individuals that Project Veritas is exposing, these are not outliers. They are representative of what's happened. Um, I can't speak to every school in the country, but to so many schools and school districts, both public and private, uh, across the country. He had this message for teachers who may disagree with the ideologies they have to teach, but are afraid to speak up. You have a duty as a teacher to educate your students and not indoctrinate them in a particular political viewpoint, which is what this is. So I would challenge them to, to, to look for ways that you can make a difference because you, you really do have a duty to do so. We reached out to New York City Department of Education's Neighborhood Charter School in Harlem for comment, but we didn't hear back before airtime. Jason Perry, NTD News.